personality here. You might know me as Apple Pie Movement. I am a humanitarian sharing the conversations with humanity which need to be heard. In today's conversation with Angela Wilcox, we discuss how she has used her platform of art installation to speak to social justice topics such as racism, classism, sexism, the fires in Australia, two gangs in Long Beach. So come on, grab a piece of pie and join our conversation. And who really wants to get together to put an organization and connect all those things so it can be possible? I do. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what the concert is. It's funding. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, you know, I want to be that elbow joint between the existing yes, nonprofits yes. and the existing corporations. And I want to take the, the, the people who are willing to educate and elevate themselves right. so that all of these vacant jobs can then be filled, all of these vacant homes can then be purchased, and then people have money to buy the products that the 1% right. are selling. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, to me, it just, it makes sense if you just help a little bit, you know, you invest just a little bit into the American economy, then the American economy can just, can just blossom. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Why do you think that's one of the hardest challenges humanity faces is being honest with ourselves and each other? It's a very American thing. Why? I don't know. Is that part of our culture? Why? It is part of your culture. It is part of the American, and, and look, I've noticed it, and Australians are sort of come across as abrasive and honest, and I'm sort of called a radical honest, you know, I'm radically honest, but reality is, is it's so much easier if I, you know, just not rudely, but just say, this is how I feel. And then everything's out on the table. I don't understand why everybody is scared of hurting everybody's feelings or doing something like that, because it just, everything's couched. And if everything's couched, then everything gets sort of shuffled and nothing's real. And it's an American thing, mm -hmm. much more than it is Political okay. correctness, you yeah, know, that, yeah, yeah absolutely. especially in California, especially yeah. in Orange County, it's, you know, it's PC, you know, yeah. you want to be politically correct and say the right thing. And, and the problem is, is you don't solve any problems if you're just saying what you think somebody wants to hear yeah. instead of saying I don't the truth. Right. Or I don't understand. Why can't I say that? Or is that the right way to say it? I mean, there are so many questions that I had when I came from Australia that I, my culture is different than your culture. How is your culture so much different from ours? One is we are not raised on a religion. We weren't founded on religion, all right? Australia was founded as a penal colony and we completely destroyed the Native American culture, the Native, um, the, the Aboriginal, Aboriginal culture, mm -hmm. right? So the Aboriginal culture was there. So ours is very much similar to what the Americans did to the Native Americans. And America still does not recognize the Native Americans. Right, so what happened there is very similar. We were started as a penal colony. Mm -hmm. So we were all chucked over there because we did bad things in England. So it's a different dynamic. We weren't started on freedom of religion or any of you know those sort of notions. I mean, seriously, it's a, that, that is the basis, a completely different starting point. We basically were the byproducts of the tax of being poor. Because basically in England, being poor was a crime. And right, so you right, just, right. if you were born to the wrong class, you just got shipped off. You just got shipped you off. Know? Yeah. If you know, because if you couldn't, if you couldn't pay your bills and you couldn't buy bread for your kids and you, you stole a loaf of bread, well, then there you go, go, go yeah. to Australia. Go to Australia. Right. And, and, you know, so uh, the, the starting point is different. And I think the notion of how America was founded as a white nation, not to do with the Native Americans and the false history that we all, which we have in Australia as well, you know, is, is, is very different. And so I'm, you know, I, we're still a British colony. Think about that one. Oh my God. How are you a British colony? We have never been a republic. We still answer to the Queen. Hello, you, you, I mean, I just came through Australia Day in Australia and it, it and it's so problematic but it's it's a different you know it's a different problem it's mm -hmm. a, you know it's a problem where we actually completely destroyed a country and we are celebrating Australia Day as white colonists in native in, in a native indigenous country you know so that there's that that dynamic that is it's totally wrong
Well, thank you so thank much you. for joining us, and I look forward to seeing all of you next week. Have a great week. Thank you so much. And thank you for being a great apple. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Done. Thank you.